Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Extra Time Sports Show right here on ATU TV. My name is Amos Mama Boy. Remember, the show is proudly brought to you by the Accra Technical University. Tonight, we will be talking about the Black Princesses as they engage in the 13th All Africa Games coming up later in Ghana. We will also be talking about some Black Queens news as they take on the Copper Queens of Zambia. When we come back from this break, I'll introduce my guest to you and other stories coming up shortly. Finish from Mohamed Kudus. All right, so welcome back to the Extra Time Sports Show right here on ATU TV. Remember, the show is proudly brought to you by the Accra Technical University. So I have been joined in the studio in the person of Ishmael Latte, who will be joining me to do more analysis with regards to the 2023, uh, 2023 Afghan Cup of Nations currently ongoing in Cote d'Ivoire. Nigeria and Cote d'Ivoire, they will face off each other in the finals. We'll also be talking some black princesses, as I make, mentioned earlier, as far as they are concerned, we'll also be talking some black princesses too. So hello, Hishima. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. I'm also fine. And you've been watching the AFCON. I will start with the AFCON first, but let's take a look at your screen with regards to how the bracket has gone so far. Yesterday, um, Cote d'Ivoire, they defeated DR Congo to make book a place to the finals with Nigeria beating South Africa. To, the, to reach the final. So, Ishmael, I would like to take your thoughts with regards to these two games that uh, was played yesterday. Okay, so looking at the Nigerian and the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? Nigeria and uh, South Africa. N uh, Nigeria and South Africa game, uh, it was an exciting match to watch. And looking at the pressure, the intensity in the game, it was really a close game. But I think Nigeria managed to win a match on penalties. penalties. But actually, uh, during the game, they had um, early, they took the lead. Then later on, uh, ending of the game, uh, South, Africa. South Africa also came in to equalize, took Nigeria into the extra time, kept the momentum, everything. Then they sent them to the uh, penalties. The penalties. Then, but I think during the penalties, that's where Nigerians showed that they were, they are very experienced when it's coming to when, when you come to the, this tournament. All right, so. With regards to host nation Cote d'Ivoire and DR Congo, I mean, the host nation, they continue to put on miracles each and every day. I mean, no one expected them to reach the finals, but here they are. They are in the finals of the African Cup. And this is the first time, for the first time since 2006, when Egypt hosted and went into the finals. I mean, there is going to be a lot of pressure on them, though, playing against Nigeria. And what do you think the host nation should do? Because this Nigerian side, are, they, have, they, they are very, very experienced. And when you look at this Ivorian side, too, they've got quite a lot of experience. But it's, it looks like there's some kind of magic. But with the Nigerians, there's nothing like magic for them. They are playing with experience. What do you think the Ivorians should do this time in the finals? Yeah, I think the Nigerians, uh, the Ivorians should be careful. They were, they were all in the same, same group. And the they, lost, they, they lost, lost to, to Nigeria. To Nigeria. Now they are going to meet them in the final. And one record, one bad record that will go against Ivory Coast is uh, for a team to do the host a win. I think it 2006. Was, yes, that was when Egypt. Egypt did that. So, and looking at how the Nigerian set up, they know their defense is not well organized. But they've, well they've got one of the best. They've, been, they've, yeah, they've got one yes, of the best because of side. how they they use the midfield to show the back line. So that they will, because they know they are very good on counter breaks, they have a quality uh, forwards in the Dosimen and the Lukman and the Co. So the, the Ivorians should be careful with how the Nigerians always set back, use the counter breaks, and because they are good in transitions, when they break you on counter, they will, they Take will just advantage. punish you. So the Ivorians should be careful. But I think with the with the banter the Ghana and the Nigeria have and the rivalry, I will, I will go for a win or uh, I will wish the Ivorians win. You want the Ivorians yes. to win. <laughs> so the third, the third and fourth place will be between South Africa and then DR Congo. Yeah. What's your prediction? Uh, I will predict South Africa to, to, to win that match because looking at how they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Nigerian side yesterday, 
keeping the momentum and the intensity with the Nigerian this my uh, Nigerian squad and holding them to the to the penalties. I think they have a very strong uh, side. It was just a disappointing um, results that they held they, they had yesterday. So look uh, going to the third and fourth placement, I think they will do everything possible to to uh, to win that match for the third placement. All right, so we we'll move straight from the 2023 African to the All African Games that will be played, that will be hosted in Ghana. The tournament will start from the 8th of March throughout. So Black Princesses, the the under 20 side of the 20 female side of uh, our national team, they will be they will be taking part in the football. So this ha has to do with the men side, the Black Satellite, they are in Group A alongside the Gambia, Benin, and then Congo, and in Group B has Nigeria, South Sudan, Senegal, Uganda, then Tunisia. So these are the men's draw for the 13th All African Games that will be played right here in Ghana. So let's take a look at the female side. As I said earlier on, the Black Princesses, they are also in Group A. Group A. They also. So these are the, actually the sporting activities that will be done during the All African Games. We've got Olympic qualifiers. So there are some of the games that will be used for Olympic qualifiers. You are able to perform well you will get the opportunity to qualify to the Olympics. So we've got athletics, badminton, cycling, swimming, table tennis, tennis, that ha that's actually the long tennis, triathlon, and then wrestling. So these sporting activities will be a qualifiers to the Olympic Games coming up later this year in France. So this is the black, uh, the black princesses. They will be taking on Ethiopia, Tanzania, and then Uganda. Uh, during the women's game. So, Ishmael, your take on the Black Princesses. I mean, the Black Princesses, that's also another side that have been performing very, very well of these days, just like the, their senior side, the Black Queens. And last, I remember back last year, they hosted a competition, a maiden edition of the under 20 uh, Wafu Zombie mm -hmm. tournament mm -hmm. in Kumasi, where they hosted mm -hmm. and they won the game. This time around, they've also qualified to the under 20 Women's World Cup later that will be coming up in Costa Rica. This is going to be a preparation for them to prove what that if they are just another best side as they take on they they play in the, uh, these all Afghan games. And what what's your take on this Black Princesses side? Yeah, something short about this. I think uh, they have uh, looking at their previous performance. I think they have been performing well, and it's a game that's going to be of uh, it's going to be of uh, full of talent and skills. Uh, looking at both both sides or looking at both teams and I'm looking forward for them to I mean use this opportunity to prepare themselves um, uh, to use this opportunity to prepare themselves for the uh, World Cup so I think uh, I'll go in for a win for yes, all right so we'll take a quick commercial break when we come back from this break we'll talk more ab about the MTN FA Cup as it reaches its round of 16 that game that my matches will come off next week. And then we'll talk about some women's FA Cup too, alongside the Black Queen. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Finish from Mohamed Kudus. break remember it's still the extra time sports show right here on atu tv the show is probably brought to you by the accra technical university all right so we'll continue with the rest of our stories where we enter into the mtn fa cup round of 16 that will be coming up later we've got some clashes that will be coming up later we've got buffa kwatana will be coming up against war power with aquambasu young madrid coming up against Bechem United. We've also got Le Legon Cities coming up against Nanya FC. These three games will be coming up on Saturday. Then on Sunday, we've got Inswatreman coming up against Brecum Chelsea at the Nana Komansa Park. 
Karela United will be coming up against Kumasi Asante Kodoko. That will be a very, very big cracker coming up at the Aliyo Mama Sports Stadium with James FC, defending champions. They will be coming up against Koforidua St. Pifi. Uh, Mina Shars will be coming up against Sky FC at the Indom Sports Complex. And then at the Ajumas Ajumaku Asan Park, who hosts soccer intellectuals. And then Hohoi United. So Ishmael, your take. I mean, the big game will be coming up between Karela United and then Kumasi Asante Kodoko. And, I mean, Dreams FC, they are currently the, the defending champions. But Karela United and then Kumasi Asante Kodoko, that will be a very, very big game coming up. Your take on this, on this game. Yeah, I think uh, there's a term for the AFCON, uh, sorry, the FA Cup that will be a new year. And this is the chance for Kumasi Asante Kotoko to take their chances to, sh to showcase that yeah, they are the big side. Because now Akra Sofoka are out. Yes, please. So yeah. maybe you should yeah, give them a. a, yeah. a, a you should a, give them the right opportunity for them to win this FA Cup. Because looking at, their, looking at this season, they, they were quietly down. How, how the team were playing, how they were getting results was a bad side for the fans. But I think now. As time goes on, they are keeping the momentum and the win, so I'm expecting a win from the, the Kotoko side. All right, so let's move on straight to Dreams FC, the defending champions. They'll be coming up against Koforidia St. Pefi. I mean, despite the fact that Koforidia St. Pefi, they are a lower tier side, mm. I mean, they've, they've been able to push a lot of surprises and they've got into this stage of the competition. What do you think Dreams FC, the defending champions, they should be doing this time to be able to conquer this side? Because MTN FA Cup says Obey and Obey. Yeah. You, do, you could get knocked out by any lower tier division. What should Dreams FC do yeah, to make I it out? I think Dreams FC shouldn't underrate uh, the opponent uh, going into this game. Once you are a defending champion, let us know why, how come you became that champion. So let us see your, let us see whether you still have the momentum and the, the abilities to win those matches. So, these are some of the matches that you have to just wash your hand out of it then focus on the next one. All right, so a win from. All right, so we'll move on to the Women's FA Cup. I'll take some of the fish, uh, fixtures and then we'll move to talk about Sun Black Princesses. The Women's FA Cup round of 16, uh, quarter, uh, round of 16 will be coming up in March. Police ladies will come up against Hazakes ladies, Army ladies, Valued girls, Jonina ladies coming up against Lady Strikers. We see Lions coming up against Epiphany. Warriors and Pimdakwa ladies, defending champions, will come up against the Male Super ladies. Supreme ladies will come up against Bagabaga Baga ladies. Prison ladies will be coming up against Kumasi Sports Academy, with Soon Shining ladies coming up against Nasara ladies. So these are the fixtures for the Women's FA Cup Round of 16. So let's move straight to the Black Black Queens as they take on the Copper Queens of Zambia, and in the semi-finals of the. 2024 Paris Olympic Games. So this are this is the side, the Zambian side, the Copper Queens. They have released their their squad for the, the game against the Black Queens. They've got quite a lot a lot of local players. Most of their players are playing in the local league of Zambia, with a, with a few session of some some few players. And the Black Princesses, Ishmael. I mean, the Black Queens. I beg your pardon. They've done amazingly last year. They lost just one game against the Namibian side, but they still managed to qualify to the 2024 Women's AFCON that will be coming up against Morocco. And the most surprising thing is, if they should beat Zambia, they will face either Morocco or Tunisia. This is what do you think the Black Queens should do this time? Because the Zambians, everyone knows, they've been a better side. They have the likes of Barbara Banda, another top, top notch striker. What should the Black Queens be doing this time to be able to make it to the uh, Olympics? Uh, as a Ghanaian, I think we should all give our support, the, everything that we have to do just to support the Black Queens so that they will win this match. I know it's a, it's a game that is going to be full of talent, looking at both teams, the ladies. I think they have been looking at their previous results. They are, both teams have been getting good results and scoring more goals. And most of them, too, are performing very well yeah, in their club side. So coming to this game, I think it's going to be a difficult match for the Black Queens. But I, I think this is the perfect opportunity for them to win this match and just qualify for the, the, the next round. The next one. All right, so that was Ishmo. Remember, the Black Queens do take on the Copper Queens of Zambia uh, on the 23rd of February at the Babayara Sports Stadium. And then the next, the second leg will be coming up in Zambia on the 28th of February. So this is where we wrap up 
the show for the Extra Time Sports Show. Remember, the show was proudly brought to you by the Accra Technical University. Next week, when we come back, we will be talking more, especially with games regarding the 75th anniversary of Accra Technical University. My name is Amos Mama Boy. Do enjoy the rest of our programs.